This video will show us the pathway of the arteries to the lower limb. Let's begin by drawing a simple heart. And from the heart, we'll draw the arch of the aorta. We've got three branches off the arch of the aorta, but the continuation of those branches is covered well in another video called Arteries to the Head and Upper Limb. I'll include the link here. At the level of the L4 vertebrae, the abdominal aorta divides. Prior to that, we know that the, uh, that the aorta passes through the diaphragm and that this occurs at the T12 vertebral level. When the aorta divides, the resulting branches are known as left and right common iliac arteries. The word common tells us that each artery will divide again. Those branches are then known as internal iliac arteries and external iliac arteries. We highlight the internal iliac arteries only to show the origin of the superior and inferior gluteal arteries. The remaining branches would supply structures within the pelvis, which are not the topic, uh, which are not topics covered in Kin 100. The next major landmark is located at the inguinal ligament. At this stage, the external iliac artery passes deep to the inguinal ligament and becomes the femoral artery. And here we will find it in the femoral triangle. Right away, we see a large branch from the femoral artery called the profunda femoris artery. We saw a very similar pattern in the upper limb with the brachial artery and the profunda brachii. The femoral artery eventually passes through the adductor hiatus and ends up posterior, which is why I'm going to draw it in dotted lines now. At the posterior aspect of the knee, this artery is now known as the popliteal artery. And eventually the popliteal artery is going to split. The solid branch that I'm drawing right now is the anterior tibial artery. And the original dotted line that continued would represent the posterior tibial artery. The posterior tibial artery will eventually split into medial and lateral plantar arteries that supply the foot. The anterior tibial artery continues onto the dorsum of the foot as the dorsalis pedis artery. This last branch will be the fibular artery. And these three arteries together will supply the three compartments of the leg. I've only drawn this on the right-hand side of the body, but of course everything is symmetrical at this point.